What is the root cause of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? This question has been a subject of global debate for more than a century. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is a complex, multifaceted issue rooted in religious, historical and political disputes. This conflict has not only shaped the destiny of millions living in the Middle East, but has also significantly influenced global politics. To truly understand this intricate issue, we must delve into its origins and evolution. So let's embark on a journey through time to comprehend the roots of this complex issue. Our story begins in the late 19th century with the rise of Zionism. Born out of centuries of persecution, Zionism, a movement for the establishment of a Jewish state, took root. Theodor Herzl, a key figure in the Zionist movement, published The Jewish State in 1896, promoting the idea of a safe haven for Jews in their ancient homeland. This idea resonated deeply with Jews across Europe, who had long faced anti-Semitism and discrimination. This led to a significant wave of Jewish migration to Ottoman Palestine, a region predominantly inhabited by Arabs. However, this wasn't merely a geographical shift. It marked the start of a complex and deeply rooted conflict over territory and identity intertwined with religious and historical significance. Yet, this migration, fueled by hope and desperation, was just the beginning. This migration set the stage for the conflicts to come. The aftermath of World War II brought significant changes. The world was still reeling from the atrocities of the Holocaust, where six million Jews met a tragic end at the hands of Nazi Germany. This horrifying chapter in human history amplified the urgency to find a safe haven for Jewish communities. The solution for many was migration to Palestine, a region that held deep historical and religious significance for Jews. The migration, however, wasn't a simple transition. Palestine, under Ottoman rule, was predominantly an Arab region. The influx of Jewish migrants not only changed the demographic balance, but also ignited tensions between the Arab and Jewish communities. In the midst of this escalating conflict, the United Nations stepped in with a proposed solution in 1947. The UN General Assembly, after careful deliberation, voted for the establishment of two separate states on the Palestinian land, one Jewish and one Arab. This decision aimed to ensure that both communities could coexist peacefully and govern their own territories independently. However, the declaration of a Jewish state in Palestine was not welcomed by everyone. The Jewish community in Palestine seized this opportunity, declaring Israel an independent state shortly after the UN's resolution. This declaration acted as a beacon, attracting hundreds of thousands more Jews to emigrate from around the world. But it also served as a red flag to neighboring Arab states, who saw it as an infringement on Palestinian rights. The declaration of an independent Israel sparked a series of wars and conflicts. The Arab states, unwilling to accept this new political entity, launched a war against Israel. This marked the beginning of the long-standing Israeli-Palestinian conflict, a dispute that continues to shape the geopolitics of the Middle East to this day. This period post-World War II, thus, set the stage for a complex and multifaceted conflict that has proven difficult to resolve. What are the core issues that fuel this conflict? Let's delve into the heart of the matter. At the center of this enduring conflict are three main points of contention, borders, Jerusalem, and the settlement of refugees. Firstly, borders. The boundary lines in this region have been in dispute since Israel's creation in 1948. The armistice lines drawn after the Arab-Israeli war in 1949, often referred to as the Green Line, have been a focal point of negotiations. However, Israel's expansion beyond these lines, specifically in the West Bank and Gaza Strip, has been a significant source of tension. The establishment of Israeli settlements in these territories is viewed by many as a violation of international law, while Israel disputes this. Next we have Jerusalem. This city is not just a piece of land, it's a symbol of faith for millions around the world. Both Israelis and Palestinians claim Jerusalem as their capital. For Jews, it's the site of their ancient temple. For Muslims, it houses the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the third holiest site in Islam. The city's status has been a persistent sticking point in peace negotiations, with both sides unwilling to relinquish their claim. Lastly, the issue of refugees. During the 1948 Arab-Israeli war, hundreds of thousands of Palestinians fled or were expelled from their homes. Today, these individuals and their descendants 
now numbering in the millions, still seek a right to return. However, Israel fears that their return would disrupt the country's Jewish majority, a demographic balance they view as critical to maintaining a Jewish state. These issues are not just political or territorial, they are deeply personal, rooted in histories and identities that stretch back generations. They are the embodiment of the narratives that both Israelis and Palestinians tell about themselves and their connection to the land. These issues continue to hinder peace talks and fuel the ongoing conflict. Each one represents a piece of an intricate puzzle, a puzzle that continues to challenge diplomats and leaders. Until a resolution is found, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict remains a reality, a daily struggle that affects the lives of millions. The United States has played a significant role in this conflict. The Middle East has long been a strategic focal point for US policy, with the Israeli-Palestinian dispute at the heart of its interests. For decades, American administrations have navigated a complex web of goals, securing vital energy resources, warding off foreign influence, ensuring the survival of Israel and its Arab allies, countering terrorism, promoting democracy, and mitigating refugee flows. In this intricate geopolitical puzzle, resolving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict has been seen as a crucial piece. The US's involvement in this conflict dates back to the aftermath of World War II. In 1946, the United States, alongside the United Kingdom, recommended the relocation of 100,000 Holocaust survivors to Palestine, a land envisioned to be neither exclusively Jewish nor Arab. Then in 1948, the US became the first country to recognize Israel as a sovereign nation, marking a significant milestone in the unfolding narrative of the region. In the years that followed, the US found itself in the role of mediator. After the Six-Day War in 1967, it worked alongside Britain, France, Russia, and the United Nations to try and ease the broader Arab-Israeli conflict. However, it was the War of 1973 where Israel faced a formidable challenge from invading Egyptian and Syrian forces that catalyzed the US to take the lead in diplomatic efforts. This war marked a significant turning point for US foreign policy. It triggered an oil embargo by Arab producers against the United States, brought the US and the Soviet Union dangerously close to a nuclear confrontation, and led to the Arab League recognizing the Palestine Liberation Organization as the sole representative of the Palestinian people. The US's involvement in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict has been, and continues to be, multifaceted and deeply consequential. Its efforts to mediate, its recognition of Israel, and its response to the shifting dynamics of the region have significantly shaped the course of this enduring conflict. The US's involvement in the conflict has been a significant factor in shaping its course. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is a complex issue with deep historical roots. We've traced the origins, from the mass migration of Jews to Palestine, the establishment of Israel, to the ongoing disputes over borders, Jerusalem, and refugees. The United States has played a central role, balancing strategic objectives with the quest for regional stability. Understanding the roots of this conflict is crucial to finding a peaceful resolution. The road to peace is long and arduous, but with knowledge and understanding, it is a journey we can embark on together.